The modern LDS Church has defined priesthood as both authority and power. A third definition, preferred outside the church, but also held in the church, refers to those holding priestly office, generally and individually. The Apostle Paul, perhaps, gave the most concise yet all-inclusive definition of the character of priesthood. A priest, or one holding the priesthood, stands as a mediator between God and man. Priesthood gives divine authority, power, and gifts so that man can act in God's stead. Since only God can give these divine attributes, it is God alone who can call a man to the priesthood. In order to better understand the nature of priesthood, we must first more clearly define the nature of both authority and power and the relationship between the two. Authority is the power to command, control, and adjudicate. Synonyms for authority include rule, dominion, prerogative, warrant, and right. In the context of priesthood, the most accurate definition of authority is rule, since a priest is to act in God's stead and God rules in heaven and on earth. Priesthood is a system of divine governance, giving the church and the kingdom its structure, system, and power. As the Lord stated it in His exemplary prayer, as in heaven, so on earth. This explains the revelations on priesthood governance within the church. Power, sometimes used as a synonym for authority, carries the additional meanings of the ability to act and the capability to accomplish. Synonyms for power include capability, capacity, influence, and might. One may have authority, but not necessarily the power to realize that authority. Effective authority must always include the power or the ability to exercise that authority. Hence, divine power must accompany divine authority. Divine power, also known as the power of godliness, is made manifest through priesthood ordinances. The Lord explained this to Joseph Smith in a revelation given in 1832. The power of godliness, divine power, requires both priesthood authority and priesthood ordinances. Every ordinance of the gospel manifests the power of godliness in one form or another. Baptism, while an entry requirement into the church and kingdom, also applies the miraculous effects of the atonement of Jesus Christ, washing away one's sins and raising one to the resurrection of a newness of life as the Apostle Paul taught the Romans.
The priesthood ordinance of baptism is a form of ritual magic where the power of the resurrection and cleansing of sin is activated through submersion in water. 